Hello, everybody. It's the Chunkier Bean, and today I am joined with Lucas. Hello, Bean. Who are you, Lucas? How do I know you? Uh, I am uh, an old io one developer, joined back in December 2015. Yeah. That's how you know me. I guess, do you want to share what I found, I guess, Bean? He had found an archive on his Geizo account, and it has every photo he took during his development time on the team. And these would be photos that he would share in the chat or while we're in voice calls, just stuff that we were working on and he was working on specifically. So it's going to be kind of cool. I majority of these folders that are on screen right now, I don't know what they have. I mean, it took a, a while to sort everything because it was all all a mess, but we, we got something at the end. I'm going to be curious to see what we're going to find here. So what do you remember from your original joining of Installation 01? Uh, I joined as an artist and then somehow became one of the main programmers. So I was always going between art and programming, which interesting, interesting take, I think. Let's, let's go. Let's see here. All right. So this is January 2016. Got the couple things. So we have... So, oh, okay. I know what this is. Yeah. I joined initially creating... That was like my first task, right? To create the carbine. The model, yeah. The model, yep. So I created the model of the carbine. And I was just messing around with, I guess, some UI kind of things here, right? I think this is, this the, is the ammo counter. The ammo counter. And I, I don't remember who did those graphs or those glyphs, but they're supposed to represent like a number in the covenant language. Was it Mike? Was Mike around then? No, Mike joined know. in March of 2016. So Yeah, I feel like Mike would like this stuff. <laughs> I'm sure he would. He'd probably be like, why, why did we never use this afterwards? I was also tasked to uplift the lighting a bit. If you remember from the original io one video being the really the first, first, first one, there was like no reflection probes and stuff. Or like there was one and it was just like the default Unity light box. You like, know what's funny um, is I'm pretty sure, and the map we're looking at right now is uh, our version of the pit, which we called Cavity. And what he's referring to was my version of lighting. And I knew nothing back then. I mean, barely anything. I think you went, I think you just did a pass one night and you were just like, Ooh, this is what uh, it could look like. And I was probably yeah. like, can you fix the game? Oh, I remember being so uh, happy yeah. about this. So how did you we do this? Few, um, I think I just created a big quad in, uh, <laughs> in Blender. Well, how it didn't have cloth physics back then, did they? Oh, no, it was wind, right? Yeah. And so there's a bunch of capsule colliders I for memory behind the flag here, or the banner, I guess is the better word. Uh, so it won't like phase through the wall behind it. Cause I mean, like it was pretty limited to what you could uh, collide with uh, the, the, the cloth physics. What is it? Oh, well, this is some, this is some, some skybox stuff. So here's another look with the- uh... Oh yeah. You know what? I remember what the shader was called or the pack. I think it was, um uber shaders Very shiny uber shaders oh that's right yeah i think you bought that or something i think you dm'd me saying buy it yeah i mean like back then i guess we were like a hundred bucks is like quite a lot back then nowadays it's not it's not like eh, much, you know right? we'll throw down a couple you know, hundred bucks for some like shaders you, you, it's using i think screen space reflections here or no that's definitely a cube map i think i really like just precisely made the Q map to get that uh, red reflection. Oh, there's the carbine. This was the money shot. Yeah, that's rendered in Unity too. That was that was in engine, as Dice would say. Mm -hmm. We did a in lot of engine. stuff with this. Uh, we posted on forums and we posted on our YouTube channel we had, which yeah. I think we just made at that time. And we were super yeah. excited to show this off because really, truly, it was one of the first great assets properly yeah. utilizing Unity's pipeline. But the new, the, the one that's that's now is like, whew. oh Samuel's. You made Samuel's. Oh, it's like, oh, it's gorgeous compared to this. Uh, I think I just found a funny mechanic or something. This kind was of. a physics-based controller. We had. Was it physics? It was yep. a rigid body. It was. Yep, it was rigid body. And okay, I'm trying to remember his name. Rain Slayer X. Yep, made this, and it was based off a lot of Halo 5's uh, sway and animations. I mean, it's kind of cool behavior, I think. No, this is really good. I mean, we used this for like, a while. Crazy put in perspective that this image is as almost as old as Halo 5, yeah. and we still haven't had a uh, game, a new Halo mainline game since then. Um, what is this? And this is the main menu. Inspired by um, Tribes Ascent. That was my favorite game back then. I love Tribes. Like, I play that all the time. 
But yes, what's this? This is... This is your model. This is my model, replaced by... It will be superseded soon. I was super excited this about this. I was like, yes, we have really high quality armor made by Lucas because he made that great high quality carbine. Um, what do we have here? I don't know. Oh, volumetric. You know, that looks really good. <laughs> <laughs> like on the carbine yeah. right there. Well, I mean, the hand wasn't really holding. I think I just put the carbine in because you can see it's the assault rifle. This is Hang 'em High, made em by high. Jibrell and Kayla, and I'm probably forgetting another yeah. artist. The cold version? Yeah, the cold version, and it had Didax Cryptum. Looking through. It looks pretty cool. It does look pretty cool. Yeah, it's a pretty short, short, you know, clearly I'm a busy man, you know. Oh, there's the armor completed. I think this is when we were testing it in an engine. I, uh, low poly, probably. Could be low poly, could be high poly. Who knows? I think that's the high poly. You could you could do you could trick Unity into importing exactly. high poly stuff and render them quite nicely actually, if you know what to do. <laughs> Which I did not for at least eight years. Okay, here's here's some magic, right? So this is June, so this was for the trailer spot. We were probably crunching crunching the industry crunch. This is obviously some IK stuff. That was quite funny. So we're gonna see a lot of work in progress images of this. This is like probably near the end of the, the month. You're testing yeah, yeah. scopes, but I mean, there's a lot in this image. This is a scalder. You worked on it with a Isaac, scalder. if I remember correctly. You were trying uh, to use splat maps. Nah, I'm trying. We use them pretty well, I reckon. <laughs> I'm sorry, yes. It worked wonderfully. Uh, carbine always easy. being used as the standard. Standard, because that was my one probably, right? So I always want <laughs> wanted my model in the... Uh... In the shots. I must have started coding a bit now, right? Surely if I'm showing the scope. Just for reference, I, I've I've programmed a lot before I joined IO1, but I joined as an artist. So this is a Scaldia before yeah. Unfortunately I couldn't get them in the order and I was a bit too lazy to do them in the exact day order. Now I don't know I I think I was like faking area lights, because you know Unity still I don't know, I haven't used Unity in a while, but it's just point lights, right? Uh, there's area point and spot and directional, but mm, yeah, I think what you were showing was probably mixed lighting. No, this probably mixed lighting was probably not a thing. I think I think I did like some fake fakery with um, cube maps and stuff to make it look a lot more volumetric than, rather than an infinitely small point. So I think we sculpted it in Unity, then we exported the height map, plugged it into World Machine, and just let it do its thing, right? I mean, I created like a graph in World Machine and then that created like all the splat maps and all the erosion, I guess. <laughs> what is this? Oh, what's this? IK? Oh, oh no, this is um, additive animations. So so we got like, um, we got the walking base and then I guess we have, uh, and I guess there's the full suit of armor too. That's got to be the low poly. Yeah, well this is, oh my god, I must have done a print screen for this one, right? Oh, so oh. here we go, some renders. Yeah. This is some um, in-engine again, you know, in-engine, just like DICE does, right? Is this a video? Yeah, oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> this is the terrain going awfully wrong. I think uh, it looks like Minecraft, did a little digging. So, so I think what happened is, because Unity has a, I don't know, is it a triangle or an index limit? I think it's an index limit or a vertex limit. There's some limit to when it uploads the uh, the mesh to the graphics card, either in indices or vertices or something. And so the trains actually split into multiple pieces and the gaps are like where the splits are and like the, because we're doing like bump mapping, oh, not bump mapping is not the word, uh, tessellation. Yeah, yeah, this is, this is the first getting getting the uh, Spartan in in engine, I suppose. This is, I think, look, this is the final BSP. Um, just the river's eventually supposed to go in the middle there. Although there's probably gonna be some changes. Oh, we got some uh, this is like sway. Sway animation Procedural stuff. movement. I'm definitely programming at this point, right? I, I've gotta be. And there's the river. Here we go. Here's like, I like one. that lighting a lot more here. I'm oh, you're showing, I think you've probably shown off the fisheye. Oh yeah, the fisheye when you zoomed in, cause it, it looked really good, I think. Cause it, it really makes it look like you're scoped in a bit more, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's great. That's the grass money shot plasma pistol that just got uh, textured and stuff. I think me. also the first person arms. Yeah, oh yeah, makeover. No, they, they had armor before, but I guess it, they look a bit fresher, right? Oh, this has got to be Matt, surely. Yeah, because these are garbage animation. No, okay. <laughs> no, no, he's good, he's good. Testing stuff. I, probably the two of you working together. Yeah, I mean, we had, we had some thick 
spawn. We cool. had some thick character models. So this is developing the plasma pistol that you guys saw before. This is how it starts. I think I just told you do the Halo Reach plasma pistol. You know, I have great yeah. leadership. The rocket launcher. Yeah. Look at the tubes. The <laughs> yeah, so rocket launcher similar block out, I guess, from the uh, plasma pistol. Oh, this, I love this video. This is one of my favorites. It's probably a bunch of them all in one, yeah, right? Definitely, like 20 of them spawned in the same spot. Oh, what's this? Oh, I know what this is. This is the snow. Oh, procedural snow. More ice, but this is like early ice shader. It's not looking super convincing yet. It's looking a bit more like snow. Well, there's the rocket. That's That's got to be baked, I think. Oh man, when I, when I saw this, I thought it was the coolest thing. I mean, the shotgun looks great. Yeah, I know, it looks so good. But what looks better? No, probably not. <laughs> not this, no. Um, I think you... Is this low poly or high poly? That's definitely low poly. So I guess this is fully textured. The uh, This is looking all right. I don't think it's done yet because you're missing the goofy de decal you put on. The decal. Oh, no, it is there. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. <laughs> don't yeah. let bean use or something? What? I, don't, <laughs> I don't know what this is. I mean, I just found it funny. <laughs> I think you did. Yeah, and uh, no October, Lucas said oh, sayonara. Clearly. Clearly school was busy, right? Very busy man, of course. Ah, okay, this is this is doing some texture blending. I read an article on how to texture blend. I remember you were trying to explain it to me too, and I was probably just like, ugh, it looks great. Oh yeah, okay, this is the difference between tone mapping. I guess there's a lot of bloom, but if you pretend the bloom wasn't there. I can already just hear Matt, because he never liked bloom being cranked up so high. Because Reese yeah. and Oz, they used to love bloom. And he's like, turn it down, yeah. turn it down, it's too much. But you can see the color grading, at least like just the colors of everything, how much more they pop when you got the color grading. Like especially in like the green parts where it's glowing, like it's a bit too much bloom, but they kind of look more like they're glowing. Uh, oh, okay, this is funny. This is when we got the first person matrix stuff going. So what Anyone is the, what is the first person matrix to our casual viewers here? To get like the perspective and stuff and the field of view working, you have a projection matrix, which you upload to the graphics card and you do some math and it will make stuff look nice in your your screen space, I guess. That's the that's the simplest way I could put it. We we knew nothing about like <laughs> how graphics and stuff actually work. What is game development? Exactly, like now I know like, oh yeah, of course the projection matrix. Ah, 2017. So this is Bolt. This is this is definitely when I started. I think this is when I started programming. It's gotta be, I think Bolt is definitely my first. For context, this is the first time in December we started getting networking into the game for this like version of the game. Uh, the VDoc didn't have any actual networking. So Lucas, he stepped up to the plate. I stepped up to the plate and learned Bolt. But we have some other artsy stuff, like shields. Okay, so we've jumped in terms of like how much you've done. Like this is pretty far into what you've coded. Yeah, that's a network player, weapon switching. Wow. And you can shoot them and they glow. <laughs> oh wow, look at that recoil, holy shit. A bit over the top there, I think. Yeah. So that was December, a lot of stuff, and then January was really good. I remember a lot of good things about January. Well, okay, here's the fixing up the Escaldia terrain to be a bit more epic. You can see it's a lot more rigid and detailed looking, I guess. Yeah, and it was, it was it ran a lot faster too because it was it was you can see the triangles are a lot a lot better. This was either a sculpt. I sculpted that. Oh, this is damage mark. Oh, I was yeah. so happy about this. This is yeah. This is this is Lucas going into coding now. Oh, I've been shot. So we just had that big red line. More IK. Looks nice. Works well. Picking up weapons. <laughs> oh. Oh, so the kill feed would tell you what weapon you picked up. Oh, I. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah. That made the that did not we cut that out for the Q and A. I think it didn't make its way back in. Maybe that was just the scope for the shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is, a, this is an old IO1 meme. This is for the ancient grizzles, if they remember this. We mm -hmm. we were very into the dab on the team for a long time. Yeah. Uh, let's go check out February. And not so much. <laughs> but, I mean, it's still it's probably interesting, right? Um, oh, look at the new HUD. Uh, I think Mike and Luke put that oh, in. Oh, my. Grenades? Do they explode? Oh, no. You can throw them, but they don't explode. Oh, look at that reflection, though, in the... Oh, you can see the trail. Okay, this is a glitch. You can see the trail spawning from the center of the world. Oh, oh yeah. I didn't notice that at first. Yeah. yeah, I didn't either. I thought it was just a cool thing, but I just realized now. Ah, look at that backpack weapons. Remember, I remember I, I was like, we got to get these in. It's important. Oh, here's the the sniper. It was rigged. Oh, look how beautiful that looks though. He's done. Greg did a fantastic job with that. 
So oh. March. Oh, look at that. That was new. And I think, yeah, the clouds. Cloud, clouds were new. Mm, look at the little yeah. icons you had on the right for errors and like packet oh, loss. And... Working icons, mm -hmm. yeah. Battlefield 4 just introduced them, I think. And oh, I got pretty inspired. Oh, I know. This is, you typed special code, I think. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we're working on Obelisk for the Q&A, I believe. Mm -hmm. So this is just splat mapping it and stuff. Do you remember how many times the guys had to do LODs for these rocks and they were not in the right order? Those rocks are really painful. Hmm, this is more that aerial light stuff, I think. Like it really looks like a the big glowy sphere there. <laughs> wow. Man, look at this. There's no ambient occlusion on any of these edges right here. Yeah, it's it's still working. No global illumination. Yeah, definitely. Looks a bit off. Looks like the, we have a little yeah. camera bob there with the HUD. Do we? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, there's a lot showing off there. That's nice. This is getting stuff ready for... This has got to be for the... the Matt's cinematic. Matt's cinematic, yeah. Yeah, so I did some clever shader stuff here because you can't have shadows on a transparent object, right? But I had the shadows come in at the very end. Like if you go frame by frame, yeah, yeah, you can see right before he goes to camera. So that's when the shadows would kick in. So I had like the shader like quite cleverly know when to put the shadows in. And the idea is you, you don't notice it, <laughs> that the shadows just pop in. So I don't really uh, think the cinematic crunch was as bad as any of the actual gameplay video stuff because it was no, well was planned. Pitched. Matt was... It was well planned. Matt planned it well. Yeah, he, he did actual proper <laughs> product planned. management. So that was pretty much it for April. Now, in April, we were doing a lot of marketing with the Q&A and a lot of the YouTubers marketing. were playing. It worked well. Yeah. You can see the CPU is getting pretty hogged down. That's... Yeah, that's... I mean, we were all pretty, pretty new to it all, I guess. So resource management was not like in our minds half the time. I think Ghost oh, has some problems there. It's it's like a turtle on his back. Okay. Yeah. Oh, this is new. This is Gauss animation. Mm. He did some, that was a really cool, it's really punchy animation, right? I removed all the like camera. Or maybe they just weren't there, right? The camera kickback and stuff just to... Well, first of all, the lighting on the level looks good. I think you started nailing global, baked global illumination. I was learning a lot. Yeah, this is when I really learned global illumination. I think doing burnout. More shooting. Oh, traces coming out. Yeah. So the traces were really funky, I remember. They they come out of your head, the bullets, but I made the traces come out of your gun and they would do some funky math stuff to actually align where they hit. This is July. This is Greg's. Greg's. Yeah, so oh, July Greg's. 2017. This is the first time Greg's armors mm. started being yeah. added to the project. Um, mm. Cloth shaders there to make the uh, little pouches there pop a bit more. Uh, more HUD stuff. Rotating radar. Rotate. Well, yeah, and also like the cool blur, right? <laughs> That's. I remember Mike really. Mike really wanted the blur, and he gave me like he gave me um, a math equation to do for for see how like it's how it darkens the background. It was a very specific um, blending to do that. More shooting, I guess. More cool animations. And so we had like the full proper matrix and stuff going. There's the blending that I was talking about before. So the idea is that it's always visible no matter what. Oh, I love this one. Oh, yes. Oh. Uh, oh, this so is nice. Sully's animation. This is probably my favorite animation in all of Iowa. The hands will go, ooh. I remember when this got in. You wanted to leak this. Someone wanted to share this with the, it's probably me. You can see the bloom is a lot less, is more reduced. <laughs> we so, matured a little in the bloom department. There's some more, oh, here we go. Yes. Whoop, <laughs> whoop, whoop. Such a, very such a cool. very minuscule thing that never That's really thought of, but it's just so good to see in an action. I think Greg and I worked on this. Greg made a few cube maps and then I'd set it up in Unity. Okay, so is this yours? I think it is. That's mine. This is me working on Burnout, which in retrospect, another retrospect, I probably should not have done. From from a resource utilization, obviously, it would have been better if I was programming. <laughs> but I think at the time you were trying not to get burnt out, so you were trying to... Change it up a bit. Isn't that funny? Burnout? 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 Yeah. Oh! This, yeah, so this was the customization, the animation. I would... It looks really smooth and stuff. It does. When I saw this GIF, I was like, whoa, that's 
or MP4, sorry. I'm like, dang, that's fucking smooth. You know, honestly, it reminds me a lot of the new Infinite menu stuff where yeah. we they're copying us. <laughs> and oh, look at that, it handles angles. I mean, Final IK did all the heavy lifting. Mm, the test room with not a great lighting setup. <laughs> oh my gosh, this map. What? Wait, what? Uh, what are we on right now? Which it's, month is this? This is. This is still. Yeah. So September. This is either me or Isaac on Cavity. Do you remember when I tried to do Cavity and did not? Yeah. Oh, I remember. I remember. I don't know if it was you. Someone. They. We made Cavity, and they. No one used prefabs. Remember. So everything was a unique thing. So if we <laughs> wanted to change an asset, you had to like manually go in. Oh yeah, a lot of motion blur. But that's because we just got it working with the um, with the the motion vectors working with the uh, the matrix stuff. So it was kind of like the hype at the time. Oh, okay, this is interesting. But this looks really good. What happened to this, Lucas? Yeah. <laughs> This is, I think we got, we got the good, we got that new shadow renderer. And so that's got screen space shadows on the, uh, on the weapon. So they're really crisp. Uh, I think you're working on the jump animation. Or movement. Uh, what, what are you working Exploding. on? <laughs> I think, I think it was jump. Oh, camera motion. That was that was pretty complicated actually to get. <laughs> uh, yeah, I remember we couldn't our do it setup, again. Our setup, like our animation pipeline, didn't really have didn't take into consideration the the camera motions. It's not really that hard, honestly. But oh, uh, this is yeah, it's all shade textured now. This is tone mapping again. Talking before about how much color grading does. Oh, Matt's animations. Yeah, he, um, were these handmade or motion captured? Should handmade. Might handmade. have had some motion data in there. You'll have to ask him. He'll probably leave a comment in this video. Probably comment, like, you got everything wrong. I think I know what this was for, because I specifically wanted us to get a ring on a map. That was actually a challenge to get in the ring. Well, the clouds had to be in front, but the clouds are in the sky box, but the ring isn't. The ring is an actual physical model um, to be, you know, pretty crisp. This is an old shield shader. Oddball. Mm. You had this game mode working too. Yeah. I think it was I think it was um we had infected or something. Working, yes, right? no no no, yeah, we did have infection. And you we just had the skull instead of the uh sword. It was like Halo One infection. <laughs> oh, know, so some, this was like mid animation into ragdoll. Uh projection issue? Yeah, so the skull is using that's what the skull normally looks like before the correct projection it kind of looks like um you got the force or something you know uh oh this is the water i thought there was a mountain at first oh uh, this is uh this is networking stuff so the green or the red represents one represents the server's view and the other represents where the client thought they hit okay and you can see they're quite different when you move around a lot oh man let's see what else we got oh <gasps> Oh, okay. So this is probably something you're probably gonna have to go into a bit because it appeared and oh. never appeared again. Oh, dual wielding. I honestly can't remember. I think I have I have no clue, but I remember the bottleneck for dual wielding was the animations. Like, how do we make the system work with both pretty elegantly? That's some more burnout there at the end. Nobody cares about more. More burnout. This is it's looking nicely lit and stuff there. Some stuff in it, looking good. Yeah. The global illumination looks nice. It does. Nice and dark in here. Got a little corner. Oh, this this is this is high definition render pipeline. Wow, so that was attempted long before it actually became a thing. Yeah. Oh, proper leg animations maybe? Yeah, yeah. And the crouch. Yeah. Yeah. You always got Greg's armor in there cuz it looks fantastic. Ooh, oh, oh, the, the, the planet month. Yes, the planet month. Oh, I'm so excited. For I mean, this, I was just, I don't know. Clearly, maybe I was burnt out from burnout, right? So I was working on uh, just some shader stuff, I guess. Yeah, random stuff. And I made a planet shader. The, the earth is temporary. We just stole NASA scans, I think. It stole the word. We just downloaded NASA scans of... <laughs> uh. Yeah. 
A lot of motion blur, though. A lot of fun that someone was having. Here we go. More more gameplay? Battle Rifle looks like it's in. Yeah. Oh, death camera and shields in first person? Oh. Did the shield explode? Look. I think they did. Yeah, yeah. It's popped. We got shield pop. The video should oh, bullet force on ragdolls. Always yeah, one of my yeah. favorite stuff. To Networking that? that I mean, it wasn't that hard, actually. I think we just... Yeah, when when a kill occurred, we just told everyone the, the, the bone that was hit and what direction it should fly off at. But it would only send that first... Yeah, to everyone else. If you had to describe I.O. 1 and Lucas, looks... it would be programming and Forerunner burnout. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and, car and Carbine. <laughs> and, car and Carbine, yeah. But obviously you can see that ever since the Assault Rifle came in, it's it's replaced my use of the Carbine. So here we go. The customization, customization. menu that appeared on Reddit for about three weeks straight. This yeah. is what Infinite needs to be like. And funny enough, this is kind of what Infinite has now. Uh, what do we have here? Oh, this is... <laughs> I don't know. Something's gone. Something's gone wrong. But I don't know what... But why the two first-person weapons? Like, I think you had the legs separate from the first-person stuff, but you still had the legs on the first-person weapons. So every time you looked down, they probably oh. just flew up. So you never saw them. Maybe. Just always pivot. Yeah. Oh, this is grenade. This is just this is just good old sphere like ray casts and stuff. Yeah. Um. But you, we had a lot more control with this grenade here, because you could like really control the curves and stuff because it was all custom made. That's it for December 2018. Let's move into 2019. I don't know what this is. Pretty pretty short one. Oh, this is um. <laughs> okay, it's the there's a bug. And there's the meme. Yeah, the, if you go to the original photo, yeah, it's <laughs> arm. What was he doing? Like it's crossing his arms, but I don't remember what the actual animation is supposed to be. But I mean his shoulders just like he's gone. Yeah, but you can see there's a big jump there from January to May. Uh what was happening, Lucas? What was going on? Well, I was going to Sweden. That's that's what happened. And then he made these cool shaders. This is yeah, this is the cooler arms. This was based off the reach shader. GDC talk on how they did the the shaders for the armor. Or the shield, sorry, in reach. So you can see like where there's armor, the glow's a lot more faint. Yeah, you can see, so that's like what it normally looks like. And then the reach thing is you can kind of cut out the the glow from the uh, the armor piece. So, you know, it's not just a glowing mess, it's just the outline. So that was kind of like the reach thing. And then you do some nice feather blend stuff to make it like nice and soft around the corners. Well, that is the last of it. So that's that's all I have. And then we... Both packed our bags, but yeah. Uh, so if you had to summarize your experience on IO1 after all the years, what would it be? Summarize my experience. I learned a lot. Uh, very informative. Definitely the thing I learned that it's very hard to... Because to, you can do like all the concepts and stuff, but to scale that up is is real tricky. Yeah, especially... And getting things working for majority of users. Like a lot of the troubles is like... oh. How do we get this to work for someone who doesn't have a beefy GPU like I had at the time? That's why I like optimized, like I like did the Escalde terrain again, because uh, we could get a higher quality mesh and make it run faster. But I mean, we yeah. so much and so many memories that I would not trade. There was a lot yeah, of was good fun. We we definitely probably hated those. Sessions. Oh yeah, and just when things came together, like just waking up in the morning, like I said earlier, seeing all the changes, downloading those changes testing them with the people online, doing feedback, and going to bed, and you wake up and it's all, you know, it's the cycle. And yeah. for a long time, that's what it was like, especially for you, for me, Lucas, it was always great to see a message from you with a GIF, and it was definitely among uh, these classic. GIFs. In Discord. Well, thank you, everybody, for joining us on this nostalgic trip. And uh, maybe we'll do this again. With, if you want to see another developer from the old days of Installational 1, I can uh, try to work out something as well. So... Maybe they have some gems. Mm -hmm. All right. See y'all. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, Lucas.